It is summer, it is extremely hot and you want to get yourself something that's gonna cool you off, a hand fan for example, or even better, a war fan such as the Gunsen Prime. This is the Prime variant of the ordinary Gunsen. This alongside Wisp and the Fulman came out in Warframe. Now what are the differences between the Prime and the non-Prime variant? Well first of all, higher base damage, higher slash damage as well but a lower puncture and impact, which is of course incredibly good because we do love that slash damage. It has a higher base critical chance, a higher base status chance and a longer range by 0.20 meters. Is this weapon actually any good? Well, a couple of days ago I released the Fulman video. The Fulman is sort of an upgrade to the base Fulman, but in my opinion still stands on that weapon, not being the best, not even close to the best shotgun in the game. And this goes pretty much for the same as the Gunson. It's, the Gunson is an incredibly mediocre and an incredibly not good weapon, basically. That's all I could say. I can't even think of the words on how I dislike the weapon. Now, the build that I use is a plain and simple condition overload blood rush build. It's basically like every single other melee build. It's nothing incredibly special. I do have primed reach on here and I am using it as the Nermon focus school just to keep my combo counter up. And other than that, the epitaph for priming, of course, viral and slash, we all know that's gonna be the combo. Now, what are the biggest drawbacks of this weapon? Honestly, the slicing feathers stance is not the best stance in the world. It does have the second stance, which I completely forgot the name of. It is this one, uh, but this one's even worse in my opinion. But you can, of course, correct me in the comment section down below. What do I think are the biggest drawbacks of this weapon? The not incredible critical chance and critical multiplier. The critical chance is 20% and the multiplier 2.0. That's not good in any sense of the imagination. Now, we do have Condition Overload and with the epitaph that I have, which the build looks like this, I do get incredible amounts of damage with the Gunsen and of course Condition Overload, but the mad thing is it just doesn't seem to be doing enough damage inside a steel path. There are a lot, and I do mean a lot of weapons that are incredibly outshining and outperforming this weapon, so if you possibly have the choice Pick this weapon up just for Mastery Rank and don't put any Formal or Catalyst Sonic, it's not going to be worth it. Nonetheless, this was the Gunsen Prime. Hope you guys enjoyed, if you guys did, do leave a like, comment down below on what you think of the weapon, and do subscribe for more content. This has been your lovely host, The Gaming Weasel, and I'm over and out.